gentlemen and welcome back as you can see we are currently first and we are six points clear at the top of the table let's have a quick look at the schedule so far we do not want to waste any time last game we played was the 1-0 win against Lugo unfortunately we had our defeat against Ponferrada losing 3-2 against Sevilla and Lucas Perez with the goal and unfortunately we just couldn't hold on which means that obviously we lost the game which was quite frustrating um, we need to try and keep clean sheets. Um, we do play Terrell in the next game, beating them 2-1. Davo with the brace. And as you can see, we played Antero. We beat them 3-1. A great victory for us. Vadikas and Angel and Perez with the penalty. We drew 1-1 with Tarragona, which was a bit frustrating. But as you can see from the ratings right here from the players, we did play really well. Striker didn't play that well. We put on Mel um, David Mella on basically literally the last 10 minutes and he scored, um, which again, a super sub. We played a role. Sociedad B beat them 4-2. Again, it was slightly a nervy game, but we were really dominating them. But, you know, those things happened. They were down at the bottom. Um, then we played Logranes. We beat them 1-0 at home. A penalty means that we went away with the victory. Um, we played at Sabadell, which we won 3-2. As you can see, Davo... Um, Belazaga with his first goal for us and Abrajo Baston. Then we played Major Honda. We beat them 4-1, battered them 4-1. Add up with a great strike and a Bebe with the hat-trick. But ladies and gentlemen, we've got some really, really bad news. Sevilla, who is our top, top midfielder and one of our top goal scorers and a sister, he is injured for three to four weeks. We have our right back who's injured as well for another two weeks. I don't know what's happening, but ironically we are playing Barcelona and we are away from home and that's what we got to do we have to deal with it there's nothing we can do Perez again has dropped down off the bench from the starting lineup to the bench he hasn't been really playing that well yes he's been scoring goals mostly penalties but um, Baston Barraja has been making a fuss so we said you know what let's put him in there and then obviously Perez has an opportunity to play as a second striker I haven't really played a second striker um, a role um, in FM4 quite a while. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes. But again, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very, very big game. How, what can we do against Barcelona B? We know that they have one of, if not the best, um, youngsters um, and youth team in probably world football. But let's see how it goes. This is going to be an interesting game just to see how we do. But again... We need to win this game. We cannot mess about in this game, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to start off with an encouragement. But so far, so good. We are doing good, you know. Um, but again, it's just been really hit and miss. Sometimes it's, it's the conceding of goals for me, to be honest with you. But we did change up um, the personnel in defence, as you can see. Normally, we had one of our other players at the back. He just wasn't doing that great. So, you know what? I just thought we have to change it because we're leaking silly, silly goals. Um, but A dot has to then move on to the left hand side, um, and we just have to see how we do without um, Sevilla, which is going to be frustrating. He's a great player, but look at the end of the day, we have to see. But we've made some stupid mistake, and Dovich with the ball, oh, great tackle, but they still have the ball and into the net. Edu Sanchez, as you can see, in ten minutes to go, Deportivo, we are down, and Barcelona have scored a goal. It's very frustrating. We started off really good, just passing the ball about. Silly, silly passes get intercepted. And they manage to uh, to score. Look, it's still early, so we still have an opportunity. It means that we'll only be four points, um, basically, away from second place. But again, um, you know, Nistas will have an opportunity to also close the gap by, I believe, three points. So it's a very, very big game. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? Um, let's just demand more. Maybe I should have changed the formation a bit. Maybe play 4-4-2. But Lucas Perez with the corner. Whipped into that back post. Braja! Co-keeper catches that with both hands. Uh, it's a bit frustrating, like, you know, to just let that go in there. Um, I think we, we were passing the ball really, really well. Um, and look at Barcelona. What typical Barcelona. But there we go. We've managed to dispossess them the way they dispossessed us. Braja with the ball again. Great ball into Bebe. Um, Paris Adot with the ball. Bebe again plays a great ball to Lucas Perez. Lays it off. Broja, how does he miss that? That was a great move. And I just remembered something, ladies and gentlemen. We have 
full back. Let's have him as a wing back. Uh, that is very. That was a great move. You cannot complain. How we did not score that, I do not know, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, here we go. Short corner by Barcelona. They're getting into our box way too easy. And there we go. 2 0. Eddie Sanchez again with the goal. <sighs> and you're thinking to yourself, to be honest with you, what if? If Bro just scores that goal, you know, maybe they don't have the confidence to do this. And it's two assists, two goals by the same people. Not looking good so far. Brojas having a poor game, 6.3. Lucas Perez is playing better. Uh, Davos, not, <sighs> it's not a good game so far, ladies and gentlemen. Four shots, three on target. For them, we've had three shots, one on target. Guess that kind of tells you exactly what the game is about. We're going to have to berate them. We've got to do a lot more better there. And I just feel like it's very unfair. Well, it's not really unfair to be honest with you. Yes, we've got injuries to some very key players, but personally for me, should be realistically doing better. Now, we're getting to the second half. And I'm hoping that we're going to show something much, much better than we have because Barcelona has really just picked us off, to be honest with you. I just look at the way they're passing the ball. Davish again. Great save by McKay. Oh, gosh. It's not good. Not good again. Moha with the balls. Another short corner. Whip the ball in. Goalkeeper catches it with two hands. Look, if we can score very early, we give ourselves an opportunity to get back into this game. We might just have to make a substitution very, very quickly because we, we can't stop here and think that we ha we can't make no changes. We're going to have to make some sort of changes now. Now, Zarate, he was really, really poor for us um, at the back, but I think we're going to have to put him back on. Uh, because Pablo Vacres is not having the best of games. Um, Bastoni is going to have to come off again. Um, he's not playing well. We're going to put on Ochao. Um, it's, bit, oh, it's just frustrating, to be honest with you. You know, you have an opportunity and this is how, this is what you do. Um, uh, Van Sarch, he can come back on. He's been injured, um, but he's we've given him a few time off just to relax and realistically just get back into the flow but so far it's 2-0 to Barcelona and it looks like yeah I'm not quite sure if we're going to actually get through this game now the problem is now is this going to be the change where we start dropping down the league because I can't be honest with you Sevilla is such an important player for us um, he links the midfield and the attack as well as obviously scoring goals but so far 66 minutes have gone and we haven't done anything. And one goal literally puts them under a bit of pressure. But clearly, that's not what's happened in this game. But we've got 72 minutes left and it's looking like Barcelona are going to run away with this. Look, we've got a little bit of leeway. We are four points away from them now at the moment. Um, but still, to me, that's not really the point. Davic, with the free kick, sets themselves up. And knowing him, he probably score as well. He whips it in. And there we go. Noah Davish, two assists, one goal. And ironically, first goal of the season. This typical football manager. But, yeah. We've just, we've not been, we've been the worst team. Sometimes you just got to admit that it's just not your day. And yeah, it's not our day. Bebe with the free kick is probably going to go for a shot. Or is he going to go for a, a cross? 81 minutes and I'm not sure why we're taking our time like if to say we have a lot of time and that just says it all it's a great great routine to work out but it's just typical very very typical and and you know it it, it just tells you about the game to be honest with you we ain't been on it and it's ironically you see the XG 1.16 well 1.29 but we ain't done nothing with it. And then now we go 3-0 loss. But you know what? This is the story of our season so far. If I'm really, really honest with you, it's been like that. It's been win, lose, win a few, then lose, then it's really, really silly. It was really, really silly. But we have to be honest. We weren't good enough and we definitely need to improve. And we've got this issue now where we've got these really, really key players out. And... 
you know, what is this going to do for our season? I understand, yes, it's still early, but ladies and gentlemen, I really feel that, you know, it could be something that's going to be quite bad for us. But we are going to play quite a few offline, to be honest with you. We'll come back probably, um, okay, that's near enough near the end of the season. Maybe we'll come back against Trell or Arenciaro. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today. Unfortunately, Barcelona schooled us today. Um, it was our first biggest, biggest test of the season playing against Barcelona B. And unfortunately, we failed that test. A lot for us to do if we we're going to try and win this league. But we got a little bit of a cushion with a four, with a, I think it's a four, four point gap. Let's see, ladies and gentlemen, in the next episode, are we still going to be in the first place? But ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. I am Football Manager Maniac. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share if you're new. Hit the thumbs up notification bells. Hit the comments below. Let's have some conversations about what you think about the game or any of other players that you may know. But ladies and gentlemen, that is all for me today. And I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching again and take care.